Okay, I've got my CN Tower hat on, which is all about the Tower card, which I always link to uh, ego, enormous egos. Um, the person who is on my mind at the moment is not Jordan Peterson. It is Jacob B. Marley from A Christmas Carol. If you remember, Jacob Marley was Ebenezer Scrooge's partner until Jacob Marley died. And then he was the first one to visit Ebenezer Scrooge in A Christmas Carol as a ghost. And he had a great chain or, um, dragging. He had to drag it around, a very heavy weighted iron chain. Now, the reason that Jacob Marley comes up is because he visits me from time to time. And he gives me a bit of an update on the state of the global karma. Because Jacob's chains were his personal karma. There is global karma. Okay, and it is what all the humans have as a collective. And, you know, after you work on, you know, clearing your own karma, then you got to work on clearing the collective karma. And I don't think it's like you do personal karma first and then you do collective, or you do collective and then personal. It's, uh, it comes as it comes and you get a mixed bag. So, you know, don't say I'm just do doing my own stuff and everybody else can go to hell. Uh, or vice versa. It's 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 not up to you to determine what karma you are working on. It's given to you by the higher power. Now, without a doubt, there is no consideration for Okay, so you got the silence, right? That's like you see the talking heads on YouTube and Instagram and television and perhaps if you go to the local bar and you get people who engage their mouths and they run their mouths and they've got their enormous string of opinions about everything. How many of them can do what I just did? Stop in mid-sentence and go silent and smile at you. Can you do it? You try. That's, that's your challenge for today, is to just start your opinion. And I don't know how you're going to decide where you're going to stop. Because I don't decide where I'm going to stop. It just stops. But try it anyway. See if you can start on and get yourself really worked up. You know, just get yourself going. You know, rolling like a train, freight train down the, the tracks. And then just disengage your mind. Just disengage. It's like, you know, putting the, the uh, locomotive into neutral. That's your challenge. And that is what we all collectively need to do in order to deal with our collective karma. Because if you notice talking about it, opinion sharing, or, you know, that's wrong, you're wrong. It's old style television. There used to be a program on PBS and the Sunday morning circuit was McLaughlin group. And that's what John McLaughlin would do. He would say, you're wrong, you're wrong. He'd go around and then he'd give his opinion and then he'd always have the final word and then he'd say, bye bye. You know, I love watching that guy. It was, you know, Wonderful acting, but as far as um, maybe somebody thinks I've got dementia or Alzheimer's or something, but that that's my point again, is that you can have long winded lectures and stories, and you can lose people in the story of it all. Um, the Zen teaching is to leave something left unsaid and let the other person complete it in their own head rather than, you know,
Okay, as far as the tarot card, uh, the tower. Why do I, am I bringing this one up? Well, if you're very heavily invested in your opinions, my opinion is right, and maybe you learn all the other opinions so you can strike them all down with your opinion. Um, it's still the tower of ego. Okay, did you get it? That's your Zen bit for today. I'm Harry Weaver.